We are releasing global tuberculosis uh, report this year with the information from more than 200 countries and with very concerning, unfortunately, messages uh, to the world and to the community. According to our new report, 10.6 million people fell ill with the tuberculosis. It's increased in compare with the last year at least 4.5%. It's significant. 1.6 million people died from tuberculosis, and these are exactly, unfortunately, these more than 4,000 deaths per day. The number of deaths are gradually increasing, and it's extremely uh, concerning. These trends should be stopped. It is a result of uh, the limited access to treatment, to diagnostics, to the testing, in other words, and uh, uh, continued transmission. People are unfortunately dying, and at least 50% of them, in absence of access, timely access to the life-saving treatment. COVID-19 pandemic, which is ongoing, is uh, responsible for uh, this uh, sobering situation with the tuberculosis epidemic. Um, due to its impact, uh, immediately in 2020, we've seen sharp drops in uh, TB notification. Notification means people were not diagnosed with TB, uh, services were not accessible, available, and uh, this was really very concerning drop. 20% of the services globally, its average, were not reachable. But if we look from country to country, especially in the high burden country, in some of the countries, even more than 40% of the services uh, were closed. Delayed access, uh, interruptions in the treatment, and this all resulted in the worsening global uh, TB situation and situation in the high TB burden countries. Drug-resistant tuberculosis uh, is the most severe form of tuberculosis and uh, unfortunately this time we, we see also increase for the first time over many years in the number of drug-resistant TB cases. Uh, this dangerous uh, trend should be again stopped through, through provision of uh, the treatment using WHO recommendations, fully oral, injectable free, a home-based treatment, three, four times shorter as it was even four years ago, and with much better treatment outcomes and much safer. This is the way out from this situation. It's disease of the poorest people and equity, stigma and discrimination are huge issues for, for this, uh, this kind of situation. And TB uh, funding was limited even before COVID-19 pandemic. We have less than 40% of, uh, of the funding we need for the comprehensive TB response. WHO, together with the partners and civil society, is uh, strongly requested for urgent actions and uh, provision access to essential uh, health care services, community-based, uh, primary health care-based services, uh, in other words, uh, access to testing of tuberculosis and its treatment according to WHO latest guidelines. TB prevention is another important task. We should protect those uh, who are vulnerable from the development of the disease. We should at least increase in two, three times uh, to the current level of the financing. We are poorly, chronically underfunded. I mean, TB programs, TB services, and the needs the most vulnerable and poorest should be addressed urgently. We should pay attention to the um, multi-sectoral measures addressing social determinants such as poverty, undernutrition, alcohol uh, use, uh, tobacco smoking and other well-known determinants of tuberculosis. Investments, access to services and the latest tools are critical and joint efforts of uh, the WHO communities including civil society and partners.